Hi there, welcome to episode 4 of The Beer Wanker. That's me. Now, today we have uh, a brewery from Sydney. Uh, this is a, a manly brewery. It's the Four Pines Brewery. And we have one of their single hop series, the Kellador Calypso. So it's made with the US Calyp. Uh, and, um, you know, this is uh, this is the uh, most Four Pines uh matches is dumping it out balls right there uh, in in limited amounts in kegs to sell on uh so let's have a look great that's a uh, fantastic gold color uh good uh, it did have a good head on it when i poured it um see it's still sort of um you know real light citrus Uh, you know, something slightly spicy in there. So, uh, let's have a taste, shall we? Bottoms up. Mm. Once again, uh, very light, very refreshing. Um, taste goes, uh, taste goes very, very quickly with this. So, you, you know, you just want to take another, you want to take another quick sip. Hmm. Something slightly zesty in there as well. You know, probably probably something relating to the citrus, but not uh, not the sort of typical citrus flavor you, uh, flavor you get. Um, slightly uh, slightly piney. Uh, I know it sounds funny coming from Four Pines, but uh, yeah, there's a, there's a slight, slight piney taste in there. You know, and uh, you know we say calypso. You know, we want to be all island fresh, right? <laughs> um, but yeah, look. What we have here is um, something, so, you know, so it's uh, quite a light frame, it's quite easy drinking. Um, you know, it's a Saturday afternoon watching the footy kind of uh, kind of beer for me, you know, I could just uh, sit there and, uh, and drink a couple of these. Um, you know, what I could eat it with, I don't know, maybe... Um, Maybe a few chips, something salty, um, to to knock out that uh, that citrus zest. So yeah, uh, yeah, definitely, uh, definitely, sort of uh, sit around, watch the footy, snack and snack and kind of beer. Um, you know, as to its uh, availability, I found this uh, I found this in uh, in Dan Murphy's. So um, it's out there. It's a you know uh, it's quite available. I mean it's not not in every single one. I found this uh, um, around out at Rouse Hill. My uh, my nearest one didn't uh, actually my nearest uh, Dan Murphy's doesn't have a lot of great craft beer. Um, so as and you know as from uh, I'm sure you know most specialty bottle shops will have it. Um, you know, Porter's Liquor generally has a better stock of craft beer than than most, or should I say, variety. Um, there is also uh, the Beer Cartel at uh, Sydney now. Uh, sorry, at our time, and they have uh, you know quite a range and possibly things on tap that you can't normally get. Uh, you know, you can buy it in growlers and squealers and whatnot. Um, so it's definitely worth a look there. Um, as for going out and buying more of it. Mm, Nah, probably not. Um, once again, you know, much much like I said with the bloke, if you're gonna if 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 you see it and nothing else is uh, tickling your fancy, yeah, give it a shot. You might be pleasantly surprised. Um, but otherwise, if there is something more of your interest, definitely go for that. Um, you know, that said, uh, you know, it's still better than uh, it's still better than average. So uh, that's three pints. Uh, you know, until next time, drink up, bottoms up, cheers.